Hi, this is Henrik D. I'm working with uh, Pentaho. And in the last video, I showed you how you could extract data from a web service using the REST client and the JSON input. And uh, this is the result of that. We have an idea and a text describing the text of uh, a table name. So now I want to put the, the, this information into a MySQL table and I'm going to use the data here to make uh, some URL call to the API regarding each table. I'll just show you what I want to do with it later on. But for now, I'll just put it into a, a table. So that's uh, fairly simple. Um, we need a table output for the... Sorry, I need to go to the design, of course. Um, There we go, the table output, and I'll just extract over here to main output of step. And if we go in here, um, we need, of course, a connection to the database. And I haven't set, it up, set this up yet, so we'll need a new connection. And for this uh, project, I've installed an um, MySQL server and you can see that also many places on the internet how you can do that. It's fairly simple. And this is a MySQL connection and if we give the connection name you can decide what you want. This is called DST and I have this on my local host and the database I made I uh, called it MyDB and I've also put username and password on this one. So we can test it. And this is OK. So um, there you go. I don't know why this was jumping, <laughs> but um, we'll find out, I think. So uh, we, now we got the connection. Now we need the target table. And there you go. I haven't put. I haven't made any tables yet, so I need to go to MySQL. Oh, this is why. Ah. I, I just started the server, so it needs information from me. So there's no table tables in my DB yet, so I want to create a table for the information I want to store. And if you call the table table names, and the first column is the table name, and this would be a var, sorry, var char 10 would do it. And the next one, table text. This one can be quite long, so just not to get to any trouble, I'll, I'll, I'll put it to text. So this should do it. And we put a primary key, not now in this one. It automatically does that. And this is, oh. This, did it do it right? Yeah. Yeah. I was a little quick there. I didn't see what it said. You, you should Maybe you should read it sometimes. Yeah. So if we go back to uh, Pentaho, now we can go and see if it's... if we can choose the table. Yeah, there you go. Table names. And... we want to specify the database fields because... Um, we have the stream coming in here and the ID ID should go to the table name and the mapping and the text should go to the table text. So if we add this then we are good and we say OK and let's try and run this. See if it's OK. Now we have the whole process again fetching the data, putting it down to the to the table in the end and we can see if and we have okay you can see how many actually as yes, uh, this is the amount of um, of uh, unique table names so there's quite a lot of tables so if we go to the uh, mysql we can select rows and you can see there you go a lot of tables all those tables uh, have data in them so uh, this is this for now, and in the next video I'll show you how we can start extracting data from uh, the tables.